what I wanted to do, but the tide wasn't right. Grabs in the gill. That's what I wanted to do, throw that 1.5 around these trees. Another one. Oh. No better way to catch fish. I love doing this. We got an hour. And I'm stuck in the carpet. <laughs> The key to fishing these trees is you want to hit every angle. You got to fish the whole tree, make multiple casts, multiple presentations, hit multiple different angles, and you can catch multiple fish and big fish doing it. You can't be afraid to, you want to get down in those knees. You can't be afraid to get hung up. That crankbait will actually bounce off a lot of that stuff, and you'll learn how to basically work your bait through there you know by stopping slowing down changing your rod tip angle things like that that'll help you get around a lot of this cover that i'm fishing might have to switch to 2.5 uh, pretty shallow sometimes when it gets deeper i throw the 2.5 just to get down a little deeper Two point five. I'm not bouncing off a lot of stuff. I should be. Which I'm probably not deep enough. Yeah, it feels better actually. Point five. I had to hit a little deeper. I wasn't hitting bottom with that 1.5. I started banging in the bottom with that 2.5. There's the fish. I cast a little further past that time. I cast it about 15 feet past the tree. That way when my crankbait got there, it would be at its deepest point and be able to hit the bottom banging to some of those knees down there but that's basically it man that's how you want to fish these things and don't be afraid to cast a little further off sometimes i like to cast right up on it but those knees come out you know some will come 10 15 even 20 feet away from the tree so you don't technically need to be right up on the tree Kind of like pushing the rod tip down a bit because I'm trying to get a little deeper. So I'm throwing that 1.5. When it 
pick up that 2.5 for this next patch of trees. Let's see. Sometimes, you know, that bigger bait will trigger that bigger bite. But I've caught five, six pounders on that 1.5. And then also, if you throw the, if you ever throw that 4.0, that 4.0 is a good bait too. That'll trigger a lot of big bites too. And, you know, when things get tough, you know, you either downsize or go super big. I like to go super big, but I'm starting to like that drop shot. A little shallow there. See, so it's a little shallow there, so I'm going to pick up the 1.5. Uh, if I can get it. Hang on. Oh! Had a bite. Smoked it. There he is. Got him that time. Just a little guy. I knew that tree looked too good to not have a fish on it. Oh, come on. He wasn't coming off. This is rapid fire right here. anywhere you know you can take this principle anywhere even if you're fishing lay downs fishing rip wrap rock anything any type of cover the same principles apply you know cranking getting up tight banging into things trigger that reaction strike that's what i like to do that's like how, that's how i like to fish you get a lot of big bites i know i can slow down and pitch around and all this too and catch fish but if you want to cover water you want to trigger those bites get those bigger bites a lot of times pick up a reaction bait pounder <laughs> that was a pretty looking fish too actually it was oh i'm gonna run right in through this tree kind of horsed her a little bit i was just trying to get her over here get her in the boat so that was a nice one Probably, yeah, it's close to three. Oh! <laughs> he smoked it. Not a giant, but he almost took that rod out of my hand. <laughs> uh, thought it was big the way he hit. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. Again, another 1.5. See how many casts I made at that tree? Multiple casts. That's two fish off that tree. One good one, one little one, but multiple casts. It just shows you, and that, I'm telling you, that short rod definitely allows me to make more casts, be more accurate, more efficient, especially in tight quarters like that. Oh, I'm gonna, that's not good. Oh. How I got that back, I do not know. <laughs> but, again, just fish all the way around the tree. Hit all the different angles. Don't be afraid to cast back. Just like that. There's another one right there. He choked it. I stopped it because I was talking to you guys. Look at that. Choked it. All the way in there. That's what you want to see. Gosh. I don't want to go home. Fresh fish just moved up. You can tell it's white. 
I don't want to go home. This is the reason I came today. All right, you guys, so we're done for the day. You know, I caught some fish flipping around in Dyson. I really wanted to come out and do some swim jig fishing and some cranking, and I had to wait for the tide to get up to get to this area. And as you saw, we got some good footage kind of explained how I go about using a square bill 1.5 cranking some of these trees lay down in wood and it was an awesome day so I like it <laughs> that was fun I mean it was fast it was furious so hope you guys like this video thanks for watching and tuning into my channel and I appreciate you guys and of course as always I'll see you next time